Any question? What do you want to talk? Ask me on prayer. Only prayer. Praise the Lord. My question is, you said that if you want to pray, we'll go to our closet and close our door and talk to our personal prayer, personal prayer personal. and talk to our Heavenly Father. I, I didn't say it's Bible. Yes, I read them for Bible. Yes, yes, yes. Don't be me talk. Yes, it's the Bible said. Thank you. And I have come across a lot of people that when they want to pray, they, they pray in the name of their GOs. They say the God of my father. And my Bible, I, there's a place in the Bible I read. It said, do not call any man your father. And so many people have been using that. I want to know, is that biblical? Should I have I have said that earlier. I say some even have to go through Mary, through Jude. So some you are adding now they go through their Jew. Uh, it is because they don't have a relationship with God, so they have to go through a man. So it's a useless prayer. You go. Praise the Lord. I thank God for all this teaching, because as the teaching was going on. Uh, 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 in my seat, on my seat there, I I was understanding that even the the evil ones before they do anything is in the secret. Yes. They do it in the middle of the night. Yes. They don't do it when people see them. And the, the what I want to ask now, the Bible says that we, when we want to pray. That we pray in the secret. Let's assume you are in a place and uh, there are some areas of your prayer you do not, you do not cover in your secret place. And if something comes up that you need to pray and uh, there are people around. Or let's assume you are in the market or in the shop. How, how do we... That one is battle now. It's no more prayer. Anything outside the secret place where you pray is now you are facing a battle, you are confronting a situation. Okay. Uh -huh. That is where we apply the power of bind and lose. That is where you use the power that you acquired in your secret place. That is the time it will answer you openly. Thank you, sir. Yes. Yes. yes uh, my own question is Personally, myself, because you said relationship with God. Yep. You know, everybody has the way they relate with God, depending on the grace they have. Like me now, if I want to pray a prayer now, I would like to be in spirit before I enjoy that prayer. And if I say, let me just pray it like that, so that, because the problem I have is, as long as I'm that in my praise. That's exactly what I'm doing is to get you into the spirit. Mm -hmm. That is what I'm teaching today. So when I get into my worship, worship gradually, you know, many things going on in my mind. I'm getting more deeper and deeper. Before you know it, I couldn't, you know, there is a way. What's the, your question? There is a way the spirit will, anointing will hit me. You know, I will even go beyond what I expected. The way I, I, I'm praying it. What to is me. what is your question? My question is sometimes the anointing will make me to, to scream. No, that one the Holy Ghost is doing now, not be you. That is, is anytime I want to. No, I said that one now. It is the Holy Ghost. You didn't do it so that people will know you are praying. Uh -huh. So, so that one is uh, you were praying. You get into the spirit, and then uh, especially. Those of us who live in a cramped up place, so many people living together and things like that, you must pray. But again, you should also know the peculiarity of your environment and then create some other prayer time where you can be alone with God. If you know you always fall under anointing when the Spirit of God comes down, then your prayer time may change. We are, you know, Nobody will distract you. 
and you concentrate. But remember, by the time the Spirit of God comes upon you, it is no longer you. He is the one that takes over. So you don't have a problem. Yes. Donatus from Lagos State. Yes, it is because you don't have a good relationship with God. Build a relationship with Him by studying your word. You will know who He is. And anytime you get serious to do anything, all your attention will be on that thing. If you see yourself being distracted, it means you are not yet serious with that thing. Anything you are serious with, all your attention will be there. Your mind cannot wander away. So be more serious when it is time for prayers because you are coming before the supreme deity of all deities. It's, you cannot approach him anyhow. It's not a man. Even if you are talking to a man of authority, you can't be distracted. You focus on what you are doing. Yes? Praise the Lord, sir. So my question is, as you said, prayer in the secret place according to the scripture. And you gave yourself as an example that whenever you want to pray, you will allow the family to enter. Then you will come out. Personal pray. prayer. Yeah. Then you come out to pray that if there is noise or anything, you will blow down. What of in a family of children and they are living in a room? How can such secrecy be taking place in, without people knowing? They don't go to school. They don't go to school. I am talking of night on. No, I didn't say it must be in the night. I said during the day, create a time where you be with God. And it will be at your convenient time. I say in the night because somebody is busy all day in his place of work. You may not have chance there. But if you are working in some places, for instance, where they give break. There are some places that they give you break. One hour, two hours break. You find a place where you go and stay and be with God and pray. Since you know, you may not have chance in the, in the house. Or you wait till all of them are asleep. Then you wake up and pray. Yes. Yes? Mrs. Silva Abuja. God bless you, Silva from Abuja. Let's hear you. Uh, go on. Amen. Of course, I am teaching something very practical. If I pray, at the moment that I am praying, I finish my prayers, I will end up with thanksgiving. I will thank him because I believe he has done it. But if I leave, I have had instance when I first gave my life to Christ for a number of years, I will not take any drug. And even up to now, the kind of drugs I take may be painkiller to avoid distraction or pain. But at that early stage of my Christian faith, I believe God healed according to the scripture. So, whenever I fell sick, I will pray. And sometimes the sickness will not go till about three, four days. And it will be intensifying. And sometimes, when I pray and it like something like maybe a toothache, you know how, how horrible the pain is. You can't sleep, can't wake up, you know, you are just uncomfortable. Then, when you have a relationship with God, you continue talking to that God. 
I remember I had to ask, I said, Father, you can't be sitting there allowing me go through this pain like this. Do this. It's prayer. I'm still telling him to do something. It's okay. It is good that we have faith enough to believe that what we pray, God answers. But I'm telling you that the same Jesus Christ who taught us to pray, taught us to be persistent until we receive what we are looking for. That is what I catch from that teaching. God bless you. I will pray finish in the morning. Start going market. And I will, when I enter Boto, I'm coming. When I enter Boto, I will see the bad thing. Maybe I like one collect money for person. And I will say that I will not fight after I pray that prayer. I will come with me that I like, Why will you take this amount of money? So start, after I fight that fight, finish. My mind will come back and say, but he promised God that he will not fight after he see anything. So I want pass, I want to know something. No, I want to know the I want to know I want to know whether whether I do I mean, I, 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 I don't offend God or I don't offend human being. After I pray. Praise the Lord. You have a spirit of anger. When you see somebody being cheated, you are ready to... Father, I, I know the agree. <laughs> but there are better ways to do it than to fight. You, you go and persuade them not to act like that. Not to fight. You just talk to them. And because you have already prayed in the morning, before you left your house, there will be grace that when you speak, they will just listen to you. Because you are a problem solver. That is why God has given you that spirit when you see anybody being cheated, you intervene. So that itself is a godly virtue. Uh -huh. Such a person, you won't cheat anybody. Because you don't like people to be cheated. I know they cheat you. Eh? No, they cheat. I know, uh, I know they cheat. Thank you very much. So you just pray that God will take charge that you don't overreact. Yes. Praise the Lord. There's something I've been asking God since a very long time. And he has not done it. So last two years, I met my friend. We discussed about it. And she too, she was looking for the something. So I was the first person to got pregnant. So I explained for her the way I did my own. And she also went and did her own like that. And me, I used to, I'm the one that used to, even used to go to church pray. And she should be telling me, are you going again? Bye-bye you. At the end of the day, I got the opposite side of the, what I needed. And she, she got the the, the positive side. So I was looking at, does it doesn't mean that all the prayers I'll be praying, I'm the one going to church, doing all the prayers, everything. And at the end of the day, God answered that, my friend. God did not do, do, the, uh, do it for me. Is it that uh, I didn't, the prayer points, I didn't uh, present the prayer points correctly or i don't i want to get it right you see i told you see i emphasize something tonight in this exhortation i say first and foremost before you can have a true personal prayer effective prayer personal prayer there must be a relationship with god but that my friend don't used to pray listen church listen amen Dangote is a billionaire. Is he a Christian? No. Eh? Hmm. Eh? So, that you have something in the world is not evidence that you are right with God. Now, I'm talking to believers. Remember that the Bible says we are called according to his purpose. Depending on God's purpose in your life, your life is dictated by God's purpose in your life. And if all for God to fulfill his purpose in your life, he decided that now only woman, woman, you will be born. <laughs> he said you don't want that purpose. <laughs> they will chase me away. I said... Listen, praise the Lord. So, what you do is, 
you will now ask God, Lord, I ask you for this. Why did you give me this? He will answer you. You will soon know why he gave you contrary to what you asked. Remember, this is the confidence that we have in him. First John chapter 5 verse 14 that if we ask anything according to his will, he has his will for us. He heareth us. You must ask according to his will. And a proper relationship established with God will accept anything that comes with joy for all things, not some things, work together for good to them that love God. So you have to learn to appreciate anything that comes up after your prayers. That is his will. Submit your will. But you can only submit if you have a relationship with him. Thank you. Shalom, Pastor. Uh, sometimes in 2014, I was praying at the midnight, one o'clock precisely. Though my prayer is against what you thought today because I was shouting. And I heard a voice from outside that it shall never be. It scared me a lot. But I want to know tonight whether it's because I'm shouting. That's why that voice come up. You heard a voice that said, it shall never be. It shall never be. <laughs> no, I cannot answer you one way because there are several ways. So many things will be considered in answering you. Because if you were harboring unforgiveness in your heart, it can never be. If you have unconfessed sin, it can never be. And if what you are asking is contrary to the will of God, according to James, to consume it in your lusts, it shall never be. So, but at the same time too, sometimes Satan can just want to discourage you. And then he can come to say that so that you can lose faith and say, so I wasted my time. Then you can say, no, it shall be. And reinforce it. God bless you. Uh, my second question is that there is a missile in churches by saying that you cannot Pray a hard prayer on your enemy. Which is the right way to pray for an enemy? I've told you, what is prayer? Prayer is to ask God to intervene in a matter. So whatever you ask God to do, remember, it will still be according to his will before he will answer you. So if you say God should kill your enemy, that is an unscriptural prayer. He will not kill. Because the evidence is that that man will live sometimes even longer than you. What you do is report the matter to him. Then, when he now confronts you in the spirit, like last night, I confronted something like that. I confronted something like that. In that situation, I didn't go now in the spirit. It was in the spirit. I wasn't saying, oh Lord, see this one. It's attacking me. Lord, see this one attacking me. I turn. I say, I rain the fire of the Holy Ghost on you. And a lot of things were happening. Amen. Until the thing disappeared. So that is part two time. But in my closet, I am asking the Lord, Lord, you can see so so person is fighting me, is disturbing me, is holding my property, does not want to pay me. Lord, handle him, take him out of my way. Leave God, he knows how to take him out of your way. God bless you. Thank you, sir. 
Yes. The last person. Sir, I want you to explain uh, Matthew chapter 6 verse 17. Read it. He said, But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thy head and wash thy face. That is, make sure you don't appear from your look. Nobody will ask you what in the happen. So, look well. Eh? Wash your mouth. Rub cream. Look fresh and not spent. Don't look spent. Don't look as if you are suffering just because you have not eaten since yesterday. Don't post, put a post on that somebody will ask you, ah, uh -uh, what in the happen? Then you will say, no, I'm on the mountain. Don't appear to look in a posture that anybody that sees you will know you are fast. That's all. That's all. And please, I must not forget this. For those of you who they taught you that to be in the spirit is to speak in tongue. I, I must not forget this one. Speaking in tongue. Amen. No prayer starts with speaking in tongue. For any genuine tongue. Any genuine tongue gift of speaking in tongue you have. No prayer starts with it. You start your normal prayer and once you get into the spirit, then you enter that realm. The evidence that it is not Holy Ghost tongue is that you can will it. Make I speak in tongues small. Nothing like that. That is the tongue your church taught you, not the tongue of the Holy Ghost. A genuine tongue, you enter the spirit. Every gift, every gift you operate, every gift you operate, something must quicken it. Something must quicken it. Get into the spirit. If you want to see everyone, all of us that are gifted, you know at what point the gift comes on. You cannot just come immediately and say, uh, I beg, I want don't open this door. I want to speak in tongue one hour. Small. I want to charge myself spiritually. You don't charge nothing. Nothing. Then you go and sit down. Telephone ring. Then you go pick up. They read the text. Nothing like that. That is the Pentecostal foolishness that exists. Nothing like that. And I don't know why human beings will deceive himself to that level. They go tell you, say, pick this and drop that side. Can we stand up, church? What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. 